title of the study I will present is uh, a phase three non-inferiority randomized trial evaluating uh, daratumumab subcutaneous versus daratumumab intravenous in relapse and refractory myeloma patients. Well, uh, daratumumab is a CD38 monoclonal antibody that uh, has been evaluated uh, across the different stages of the disease. And, uh, all of trials that uh, had been previously conducted showed that atumumab as a monoclonal antibody effective and safe in myeloma patients. However, that atumumab has to be given as intravenous drug requiring long time infusions, seven hours for the first one, four hours for the second one, and 3.5 hours for the subsequent ones. In order to optimize the daratumumab administration, data subcutaneous was developed, co-formulated with recombinant hyaluronidase. While in the phase three Columba study, 522 relapsed and refractory myeloma patients after at least two prior lines of therapy, previously exposed to proteasome inhibitor and emits, or patients double refractory to both PI and EMID were included in this study and randomized one to one to receive daratumumab intravenous versus daratumumab subcutaneous. The primary endpoint, the co-primary endpoints of this trial was to demonstrate that data subq was not inferior to data IV in terms of both overall response rate and maximum concentration through evaluated at cycle three, day one. The overall response rate for data IV was 37% and the overall response rate for data sub-Q was 41%. This means that the overall response rate was slightly higher for data sub-Q versus data IV but when we evaluate the relative risk is 1.11, and when we evaluate the confidence interval, the lower bound of the 95% confidence interval, it was 89%. This means that it's higher than 60%, so the trial met its first co-primary endpoint, meaning that data sub -Q is not inferior to data IV. The second co-primary endpoint was uh, the evaluation of the maximum concentration through at the cycle three, day one. And uh, again, when uh, the concentration was evaluated for both data sub-Q and data IV, it was demonstrated that uh, both concentrations were comparable, indicating that data sub-Q was not inferior to data IV. When we evaluated the safety profile, both safety profiles were also comparable, and data sub -Q did not result in more hematological or more non-hematological toxicity. Just to mention that the incidence of neutropenia was slightly higher for data sub -Q. However, due to the fact that the infusion-related reactions were much more lower in the data sub -Q versus data IV, some non-hematological adverse events like chills or dyspnea were reported less frequently for data sub -Q. And in line with this, I have to say that in addition to the main benefit in terms of duration of the infusion, in terms of infusion-related reactions, data sub -Q resulted in an infusion-related reaction rate significantly lower versus data IV. In fact, only 13% of patients who received data sub -Q had uh, any type of infusion related reactions, while in the data IV arm, 34% of patients had uh, any infusion related reactions. In summary, I think that uh, the Columba study shows uh, that uh, data sub -Q can be used in uh, every myeloma patient, single agent, or maybe in the future in combination with the different backbones.